Uh, some football news yesterday, a little bit of a twist here. The Lions offensive coordinator, Ben Johnson, he was reportedly going to get the Washington job. And then he was up for the Seattle job. And then there was a report a while ago that said, this is even before the postseason. I remember seeing where he was asking for $15 million to be a head coach. That was the salary. And then all of a sudden, fast forward to yesterday, where Ben Johnson announces he's going to stay with the Lions, un unfinished business, and uh, he wants to win a Super Bowl. But then there's another report or a couple reports that said, oh, these teams got turned off by him asking for $15 million. That Ben Johnson turned down Seattle and turned down Washington. Did Washington and Seattle turn down Ben Johnson? And then he decided to go back to the Lions for, quote, the unofficial business that we got, or unfinished business? I mean, and maybe we're dealing with semantics here, but did he ask for $15 million? That's what I would want to know. Because Jim Harbaugh is getting $16 million from the Chargers. Ben Johnson hasn't been a head coach before. I don't know if he's been a head coach anywhere. Now, he's got a bright future, but are you in the position to go, I want $15 million or I'm not leaving the lines? I think Washington is a sleeper job. Great, great sleeper job there. But you go back to the Lions. What if the Lions fall off this next season? That affect Ben Johnson moving forward here. Are you going back for one more year? But... Did his salary turn off these other, you know, these two other franchises? Or did he truly want to go back to the Lions? Yeah, Paul. I've got the headlines in the Detroit Free Press. On Tuesday, after that painful loss, Lions bracing to lose again. Ben Johnson interviews with uh, Heat Up. And then here are the headlines when he said he's staying with the Lions. Ben Johnson is back. Lions OC says no thanks to Commanders and Seahawks, like passing on job offers. Mm. Ben Johnson is our MVP, staying another year. It, it's being celebrated as good news in Detroit. But it's well, this is great news because the Lions could use some great news. And Ben Johnson staying there, I certainly understand that. Also, is it fair to point out the offensive coordinator called the plays on those fourth down calls that Dan Campbell's getting blamed for, that he went for it? Ben Johnson is the one who called those plays. Now, were they great plays? They were poorly executed? Feels like Dan Campbell, it's like Kyle Shanahan got blamed for the Falcons losing the Super Bowl. And he wasn't the head coach. Dan Campbell's getting blamed for the plays that were called on those fourth downs. Yes, Eaton. Maybe teams are upset that they were spurned, <laughs> that they were turned down. And they're like, yeah, well, he wanted too much money anyway, so we weren't. We turned him down. Mm -hmm. His demands were crazy. Yeah. $15 million, though, for a guy who hadn't coached before. That's what Sean Payton, I think, gets with Denver. And once again, Harbaugh got $16 million. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Ask you, for it. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, all they can do is say no. Yeah. So now you still have openings with Washington and Seattle. And now Bill Belichick comes back into the picture for Washington. I can't see him in Seattle. You know, John Schneider, you know, GM, that, that's not going to work. Washington, it feels like they're already got front office people here, so... I don't think that's going to work in Bill's favor. I don't think Bill's getting a job. I don't think Bill's – I think the one job he wanted, he may have overplayed his hand in what he wanted because he's Bill Belichick. That owner wanted him. And then everybody in the front office who was probably going to lose their jobs, like, no, we, no, you don't need him. I don't? No, no, no. Don't give him a, you know, full autonomy here. Now he's on the outside looking in. I don't know if Bill can walk it back and go, you know, I'll just coach. Is that what's going to happen for him to get a job? And then I wonder, does he get a job next year? And then we wondered if Philadelphia was interested in Belichick. And there is, it's not a report. It, it was a, here's a rumor from the senior bull. Now, it's not a report. It was a rumor, which is dangerous when you have NFL reporters who give you a, hey, this is just a rumor. Because after a while... It'll, it'll get aggregated, and it'll be on you know five different websites, and, in, and it's like that game of telephone. Wait, what did you say? I said that. Oh, no, we thought you said that. It's a rumor that the Eagles back-channeled to talk to Belichick if they weren't going to keep Nick Sirianni. Now, once again, that's a rumor. But it's not going to be a rumor here, not for very long, because when NFL insiders give you a rumor they, you know, their name is attached to it, then it becomes a report.
do I think the Eagles back channeled? Do I think they reached out to Bill Belichick? I would have. They said, oh, you know, if it didn't, you know, whatever, go well with Nick Sirianni. It didn't go well with Nick Sirianni. Like they were going to look at bringing in Belichick. Do I think that they reached out? Absolutely. Do I think Jerry Jones reached out to Bill Belichick uh, this offseason or when the season ended? I don't. But Jerry says he's all in. Here's Jerry Jones yesterday. Dak has done nothing to change my mind okay. of any uh, promise for the future. I think I said in the deal that right. we'd go as far as Dak takes us in the playoffs. Remember that? Right. Okay. We saw where he takes you in the playoffs. But Jerry says he's all in. Now you got Mike McCarthy, who wasn't extended. Dak, who's up for a big payday. And is that going to happen? C.D. Lamb eventually. Micah Parsons eventually. But Jerry says he's all in and will go as far as Dak takes us. Yeah, Paul. I think we should have played that cut in an entirely different way to inflame the situation. You said, hear what Jerry Jones said about Dak Prescott? Dak has done nothing. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Take it completely out of context. <laughs> that, that's, that's true. We got to start doing that more. Yeah. No. <laughs> Why not? And let's just spend the last four years okay. doing that stuff. Okay. How about if we say we have to have some kind of trumpets and, and that we proclaim it is, the, you know, time for our t let's take it out of context moment for the Dan Patrick show. Here's Jerry Jones talking about Dak Prescott. Dak has done nothing. Whoa! Whoa! Holy Whoa! cow! Oh, God, nothing? Oh, Jerry, you be more responsible than that, Jerry. Support. Back Treat your quarterback. Him. What does LeBron think of that? <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> Oh, that is the Dan Patrick takes it out of contest da, 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 da. context moment. Yeah, Jerry. And then Jerry did talk about Bill Belichick. He said, you know, like I, I could see we could work together, period. Like, don't even say anything. And then Dak Prescott, hey, we go as far as he takes us. All right. It's like you got a tank of gas and you know, it's only going to get to a certain destination. Hey, we're just going to keep riding it till there's no more gasoline. <laughs> Divisional playoff round. We need to fill it up so we can get to a conference title game. We're all in. Yeah, Paul. Going back to the commanders for a second. After, let, let's say you were spurned on your number one choice of Ben Johnson. Spurned. I love that word. Uh, would you reassess <laughs> and go back and call Bill Belichick? Or is that... No. It, I looked at their website, by the way, the Washington Commanders. They have two general managers. Yeah, that's why you're not <laughs> going to Bill Belichick. There's two names listed for general managers. Well, they brought in the guy from the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, that's the third guy. He's in, So they got Adam <laughs> Peters, GM, Martin Mayhew, GM, and then the advisor to the exploratory committee or something, <laughs> Bob Myers. A lot of people. Bill, Bill Belichick is not walking in there. Just not happening. That's why I think they thought they had Ben Johnson and maybe Ben's Salary, his price tag scared him away.